Oh my god. This feels really wrong. We already tried the bend test on the brand new iPad Pro and the 11 inch got a little curve, but it didn't break. So now we're back to try it on the 13 inch, which is not only bigger with more surface area, but it's actually thinner coming in at 5.1 inches instead of 5.3. And both of them are actually thinner than the pencil itself. So let's see if this thing can survive. Let's try it on an inward crack. It's trying to turn on Siri. It's not moving, but it's bending a lot. Now let's try going out. Oh, I heard the screen crack a little. Ugh. Oh, that's bending a lot. Oh, that's way worse than the 11 inch. Oh yeah, that's got, that's got a defined curve to it now. That metal is warped. Let's just try to bend it back. It's fine. <laughs> it's a little wonky. Rock climbing boy, you wanna try to bend it? Hi, I'm Kyle, the resident rock climber. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's still working. <laughs> oh my god! This feels really wrong. Oh! oh. <laughs> Should I keep going? No, no, it broke. It's off. <laughs> it's dead. You just broke a brand new iPad Pro. How do you feel about yourself? I feel like I'm in trouble. Okay, so it actually seems like the failure point was around the USB-C charger, or over here where the parts of the body actually connect. That gave out, which cracked this, and then also whatever's under the USB-C port popped up a little bit and it cracked from underneath. So just be careful when you get the brand new iPad Pro. The 11 inch seems like it's gonna survive. The 13 inch, maybe just take a little bit nicer care of it. <laughs>